In this video, we're going to look at the CLI improvements made in DuckDB 1.2. They're mostly small improvements, but they all add up. Let's launch DuckDB 1.1 on the left and DuckDB 1.2 on the right to explore the changes. So these databases both have one table called players. And the first feature we're going to look at is autocomplete for the show clause. The modifier keys being pressed are going to be in the bottom left hand corner. So in 1.1, if we type show and then tab, it only shows us other clauses. We don't ever get the table name players. In 1.2, you see we get table and then players, and we can then choose to view the schema of the table. Let's go back to the show command and we'll type in part of the table name, so PLA, and then tab, tab a couple of times and you see it goes players and then pragma show. Now what, if we want to go back through the suggestions to our original command, we can now press shift tab and you see it eventually gets back to show PLA. Next, we're going to look at improvements to the syntax highlighting of errors. So I'm going to write a query on a table that doesn't exist with a column that doesn't exist. And you can see it comes back, catalog error, table with name foo does not exist. And then it's got some suggestions for what to do. And you can see everything is in white. If we do that same query in 1.2 on the right hand side, you can see we now get a bit more coloring off the outputs. It's a little bit easier to understand what's going on. Next up, formatting numbers. So say I write a query, I want to get a count of the number of players and their average height. So it comes back like this. In 1.2, we can now specify the thousand separator, so we'll put that as a space, and the decimal separator, so we'll put that as a comma. And if we rerun that query, you can now see that it's using those separators. Let's reset the separators back to the sort of British normal one, so a comma for thousands and a, a full stop for decimals. And we're going to write a new query. So this time we're going to sum the player IDs and sum the DRB. So DRB is a, is a big int for some reason. And you can see, because these are really big numbers on both sides, it writes in 16.46 billion and 511.45 billion underneath. That only works if both numbers are big. So if we change the query so that the second value is average height, which is a small number, we lose that extra annotation of the numbers. Now let's have a look at safe mode. So imagine that we're reading from this Parquet file. So you can see we get that coming up here. Now let's enable safe mode. We can also do this using the hyphen safe flag when we're launching DuckDB. We'll now be unable to interact with the host file system. So if I try and read that Parquet file again, you see it says cannot access file, file system operations are disabled by configuration. We can also only work with the database file that we initially connected to. So that was tennis DuckDB. If we try to attach to another database, we'll also get that same permission error. Okay, and one more. We can now have another way to execute a bunch of queries in a file. So let's say we have this file query.sql. Now we could execute those queries by piping that file into DuckDB, but from version 1.2, we now have another option, which is the hyphen F flag. And if we call that, you can see the queries are executed. 